Hi, I'm Evan from Broad and Taylor, and today we're going to be discussing our folding proofer. If you're watching this video, then you've probably purchased one or are thinking about purchasing one, and we'd like to give you some tips and tricks to get the most out of the proofer. The first question you might have is, what temperature should I be proofing my dough at? We recommend proofing between 78 to 82 degrees, but that may vary depending on the dough you're using. Setting the proofer is extremely easy. Simply make sure it's in proofer mode, and then use the plus or minus buttons to set it to the desired temperature. After setting the proofer to the desired temperature, the next step is to fill the water tray. Then replace the rack, and then put your bowl of dough inside the proofer. We like to use a stainless steel bowl, but any bowl will do. Depending on the bowl you're using, if it's particularly thick and heavy, it may take longer to warm up. There's no need to cover the bowl because the water tray will provide humidity that will prevent skin from forming on the dough. If you've baked bread in the past, you may have used some other technique for proofing, and you may not have known the temperature of the dough while proofing. If you're curious and you'd like to know the temperature, we recommend using a digital probe thermometer in order to get the internal temperature of the dough you're working with. Now, why wouldn't you want to put a thermometer right in the proofer to measure the temperature? That's because of the way the proofer works. The aluminum plate heats up, warming the bowl above, which warms the contents within the bowl. The air temperature will increase, but it's never going to be quite as warm as the dough you're working with. Because of how the proofer works through radiant heat, there's no need for thick insulated walls. The walls are thin and collapsible so that it's easy to store, but provide enough heat retention to keep your dough at the right temperature. However, if you're in a particularly dry climate or you've got a long fermentation, you may want to lightly cover the bowl in order to help prevent a skin from forming. Covering the dough will have another effect. It will also increase the temperature by a few degrees, and this can be useful in a number of situations. For example, if you're working with particularly cold dough, or maybe it's just come off of a cold table, you might want your dough to come to temperature a little bit faster. Covering it lightly with plastic or even a sheet of aluminum foil will help increase the temperature and speed up the fermentation process. If you're using this technique to bring your dough to temperature a little bit quicker, just remember to take that cover off maybe 20 to 30 minutes in so the dough doesn't overheat. When you first turn your proofer on, you'll notice a red indicator light comes on. This tells us that the base plate is actively heating up, and when the green light comes on, this tells us that the plate has reached its temperature. This does not indicate that the contents within have come to temperature. The thermostat of the proofer controls the temperature of the aluminum base plate. The temperature of the base plate has been calibrated to bring your dough to the temperature you've selected. Proofing temperatures are above room temperature but below body temperature. As a result, when you put your hand in the proofer, it might not feel as warm as you expect. If you're ever in doubt that the proofer is operating correctly, here's an easy way to check. Turn the proofer off, remove the rack and water tray, and leave it off for a couple minutes. Then you can turn it back on to about 80 to 85 degrees and place your hand directly on the aluminum plate. In about 10 to 15 seconds, you should feel it getting pretty warm. If no heat is coming up, then head over to our website, broadandtaylor.com, and reach out to our customer service team. We mentioned earlier that you want to have the proofer in proofing mode when you're working with dough. The proofer has another mode, slow cook mode, which is great for slow cook recipes. And the most significant difference is when in slow cook mode, you want to remove the rack and place the pot directly onto the aluminum plate. In the future, we'll be making a video with some more tips and tricks for your slow cook recipes. Although you may have some questions when you first get your proofer, once you start using it to make bread, you'll appreciate the consistency and the great results that you get. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for more information, you can head over to our website, broadandtaylor.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.